Okay, hello and welcome to another video hosted by me. Who are you? The one and only. Um, yeah, so in this video, I just want to quickly go over the effects of plastic on the animals on planet Earth, specifically fish. Um, but before I do that, uh, let's just jump right into the introduction. Roll that intro. Okay, so it is estimated that there is currently 150 million metric tons of plastic in our ocean today. 800 million metric tons gets put into the oceans annually. Now there are 2 billion people living within 30 miles of the coastline dumping 100 million metric tons of plastic into the ocean. That's a lot of plastic, like a lot of plastic. The amount of plastic in our ocean is expected to increase by tenfold by 2020. It's 2019. That's literally next year. We're already seeing the effects that plastic is having on the inhabitants of the ocean and even on us. I'll get into that shortly. But by 2050, it's expected that there will be more plastic than fish in the ocean by weight. Yeah, we're screwed if that happens. Alright, let's get on to the main topic of this video, which is plastic and fish. So a study was conducted to determine the effects of plastic on the ocean's inhabitants. And what these researchers found was that larval fish prefer plastic over real food. I'm not sure why, but they do. Now the problem is the larval stage of any life cycle is a very crucial component. There's one part in this life cycle that will determine whether or not they're going to make it to adulthood or not. And that is if they are going to get a decent feed. They need to eat real food before they can mature into an adult. Otherwise, that's the end. These larval fish are consuming plastic. What does that mean? They're not going to be able to digest it and they're not eating real food. So it's basically just killing them at a very, very young stage of their life. That is not good if this continues. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not good at all. I, I, no, it's not. So this study was published in Science, a highly sourced website for all your science needs. And as I said, they discovered that larval fish prefer plastic over real food. <clears throat> now the major issue here is not that the fish are consuming plastics. Well. That is an issue, a big issue, but the main issue here is that the fish will be consuming microplastics, very small plastic particles that are five millimeters in length. This plastic is able to enter the bloodstream. Now, if these fish somehow make it into adulthood and we catch any commercial fish with microplastics in the bloodstream, AKA in the flesh, all plastics in the gut, then it goes without saying that we too are now part of this toxic plastic life cycle. Can I call it a life cycle? I guess the life of plastic. Produce, throw away, caught in the water, eaten by fish, caught by humans, produced, eaten by humans, rinse and repeat. I say that the main component of this is fish. This definitely is not limited just to fish. If you haven't seen Blue Planet 1 or 2, I suggest you go watch them because there is a segment in there that spectacularly goes over the effects 
that plastic is having on the marine environment as well as a lot of avian species that rely on food out in the water where they source their food they get it from fish let me give you an example albatross that travel thousands of kilometers in search of food for their chicks have been coming back with plastic in their stomachs or regurgitating plastic for their chicks rather than fish there's also been cases that the fish that they have caught has had plastic inside of them and therefore gets transferred into the chick or into the larger parent albatross that's not good that's very bad turtles love to eat jellyfish staple diet plastic bags look like jellyfish a turtle is not going to discern the difference between a jellyfish and a plastic bag it's going to just eat okay and a lot of turtles have been consuming plastic bags as of lately plastic is just another thing they have to worry about on top of climate change and global warming turtles got it tough you see the main issue with plastic is that it cannot be digested by any organism on this planet And what that means is the concentration of plastic in an organism then gets transferred up the food chain. So if a prey consumes plastic, the predator then consumes that prey and will consume all of the plastic that that prey has consumed because it cannot be digested. Then the predator of the predator that preyed on the prey then takes up all that plastic then if we consume the fish or the species that's been preying on all these things that has plastic in its gut then we are affected it's crazy right we produce it and then we suffer the outcome plastic's a crazy thing so i'm going to quickly digress here a little bit well it's kind of relevant but an area in the North Central Pacific Ocean houses probably the world's largest floating garbage dumpster. It's called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Garbage? Great Pacific Garbage Patch. This garbage patch is known as an ocean gyre. Now a gyre is essentially just circulating water. This one has a bunch of rubbish in it okay it has more rubbish than biomass what that means is it's got more rubbish than food for marine animals and what this means is that a lot of the animals in this area have more plastic give or take a few in their gut than actual food or consume more plastic than actual food. Now, Ocean Cleanup did a, a little study and showed a little diagram of turtles and albatross eating in that area. Turtles had 65% plastic food and, what was it, 65% plastic and 38% food. While albatross had 45% plastic and 55% food. Now, although the albatross less plastic than food, it's pretty close. 45 to 55. That's pretty damn close. Turtles eating a lot. Not sure why. Probably because it's mistaking it for jellyfish or for other fish. But it's pretty bad. Furthermore, there was a study that was conducted in the UK to look at commercial fish being caught 
and the effects of plastic. One third of commercial fish caught in the UK had plastic in the flesh or in the gut. But yeah, that'll be it. Fish eating plastic, everything eating plastic, we're eating plastic, there's gonna be more plastic than fish in the environment. Make sure you take your part and just drop a little bit of plastic. You know, not literally drop it. I don't mean drop, drop it. I mean, just stop using a little bit. You know, you don't have to use plastic every day. But that'll be it. Make sure you educate, don't eradicate. And um, oh yeah, subscribe. Somewhere down there. Like, leave a comment. Share it around, it truly helps. And I will be seeing you guys in another video next Wednesday for another random topic that I might find. Bye.